Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with a video review of Transformers Cybertron, Cybertron Defense Scattershot. Much, 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 much better than his Scout Class counterpart. Love this mold. I say it's probably one of the best out of the Transformers Cybertron line. Um, so. I'm just going to take this gun off his side here. This is his uh, rifle. It's kind of hollow on the other side. But um, it's kind of nice. It looks nice. I wish it was not blue. But it is what it is. Um, now this guy is nice. This is actually a legit vehicle too. Which just makes it even cooler. So it's got a bunch of missiles. Which is awesome. Uh, he's got these like... Uh, plates here, like, you know, ram things. Treads. He actually rolls fairly nice for having studded wheels. Sounds terrible, but, um, the wheels are barred, so you get that rough effect, which is kind of cool, because he's a tank, and he's going to be like, Rrr. but, yeah, so it's nice. Uh, he actually has a fair amount of playability in this mode. He, his, um, Cannons move up and down on a ratchet joint. And this is cool, because I thought when I first got him, oh, there's no way it's going to be able to rotate because of his transformation, his head's there. But he actually also rotates on a ratchet joint all the way around, which is nice. So you can really have an anti-aircraft missile carrier thing or a weapons depot or whatever I guess not depot it's a weapons carrier heavy weapons it's awesome highly recommend this figure um, also notable is he has the Cybertron defense logo which is the Autobot symbol with the V and honestly it kind of reminds me of the uh, Autobot uh, Armop animated elite guard symbol and this was obviously out before it so it's kind of like the precursor to it and I think that's kind of neat it's my interesting fact for this review um, so he does again have a little bit more playability in this mode I'm just looking for my uh, tool again I, I seem to be in a habit of forgetting things tonight so I don't have um, the cyber key um, with him, but uh, I do have this other tool that'll do the same thing a toothpick in case anybody's wondering so a well-placed toothpick will activate one cannon it uh, holds out and the other one a little bit harder trigger there it goes this will um, kind of flip up sometimes, Does, it depends. And then this slides out, and you have two missile launchers, which, for surprisingly, for being in there for, uh, wow, came out in 2006, almost uh, six years, they still fire pretty decently. So, those are nice. Um, the There's a little bit of a problem I have with this guy and it's with putting these out back because they have so many pieces that fold out it's kind of hard you got to make sure it's in and to latch these you actually have to slam them down because if you don't they don't like um, staying closed like that one oddly enough did so it's just trying to spite me because I'm on a uh, camera oh anyway he's got two mini con ports in this mode on one on either side, which remain in robot mode, which is kind of nice. And uh, so, yep, now that I've talked to death about the vehicle mode, I'm going to go ahead and transform him into robot mode. And here he is in robot mode. And he is, again, awesome. He's got these massive, massive legs. So that's, that's nice. Um, you know, it's just like huge treads. Um, his motion includes a little bit of movement in the feet, not much. Uh, heavy ratchet joint in the uh, knee. 
no, oh, yep, a little bit of a swivel there, but kind of gets in the armor, kind of gets in the way there. Uh, he's got a ratchet hip joint here and ratchet hip joint here. So he's got a full ball and socket joint like range, but um, without the ball and socket joint. He does have a waist swivel, which is nice. Spin him all the way around and such. Um, he's got a little bit of a swivel here in the head, but he doesn't turn all the way around due to the way it has to transform so that this whole panel will rotate. Which is kind of cool that they still have that rotating. Small sacrifice, because really, who's going to turn his head all the way around face the back? Um, so that's nice. He's got his missile launchers here on his arms. He's got his gun. Um, so he's got a ratchet joint here, ratchet here, ratchet here, and his hand is solidly molded, but it does move in for transformation, so you do have a little bit of play there if you want. Um, downside, you can't make his arm go completely full at, outward like this. You actually have to angle his, bend his elbow to move his arm out to the side, which is kind of a weird pose. If, you know, if you wanted to, but fortunately his head doesn't turn all the way, so you wouldn't theoretically need to. So. That's fun. So I will go ahead and reactivate these uh, gimmicks. So this one actually pulls down onto the hand, so this... Uh, peg here that's like in vehicle mode that looks random actually looks like a uh, grip in his hand and it's give it gives him this massive cannon and what's cool about this one is it actually still allows him to use his um, elbow joint which is kind of cool you know just like so that's nice love that one then his other one's pretty neat too. It doesn't have quite the mobility. You gotta make sure his hand's flat before activating. Well, you don't really have to, but it makes it easier. Uh, you, this one bends out. Again, this peg that's just a little longer than the other one fits perfectly in line with the hand. Um, so it looks like a handle again. This just f folds out. And he's got like a missile launcher cannon thing. The only downside, the targeting scope is not anywhere near his face. It's on the opposite end, in fact. I mean, I suppose you could turn this into like a weapons platform, which I haven't tried messing around with, and some other transformer could look through that. But realistically, it's fine. I mean, it's there. It, I guess it's a gimmick for kids to look through. But even so, when you do that, when you go to trigger the missiles, your hand gets directly in the way. So, yeah, that, that's kind of fun. So, yeah, it's, you know, missile launchers work pretty decently, again, for the missiles being in there for, like, several years. So, both of these are pretty awesome. Yeah. So, you have still have that motion with this. And, you, you know, it's a pretty awesome gimmick. Unfortunately, he cannot hold his gun in this mode unless you hand it to him upside down. In which, you now have this even bigger cannon, supposedly. I mean, I guess you could paint it on his leg, point it out or something, but that kind of looks weird. So, yeah, you can store it there or just not on the figure at all. So, uh, yep, that pretty much concludes my video review of Scattershot. Almost. Um, I've gotten a few questions about how I accomplished it. So, I'm going to um, show it off. I do not have Straxis with me, but I will show off the um, how I turn this guy into Straxis' throne just for fun. Well, first thing you want to do is fold the head back, fold the hands in, then 
put the feet together, point these up, fold the um, back of the feet in, rotate this up like such. How did I manage that? These go back. Just gotta remember how I did this. There we go. Something like that. Man, I uh, did this like three times beforehand too. Ah, bend the elbows. Wow, I'm a little bit tired right now, so. Sorry for my uh, slowness on that. Then you have a little bit of rockiness, but if you come back here and use these panels, you can uh, adjust that. It's depending on. And then you sit Straxis there. Um, it's not a perfect seat, but um, with his arms on here, he really looks creepy. Especially if you take if you print off a Decepticon logo, a giant one, and put it right back here. It's really creepy. And it's like awesome because in my series, Straxus actually killed this guy um, at the end of season one. Now at the end of the Unicron storyline, and then, uh, he actually turned the guy into a throne, which is creepy. Anyway, also you end up with a, this gun, so just kind of randomly there. So um, that concludes my video review on this throne also known as Scattershot. Um, if you have any questions about the character or the figure, please feel free to ask in the comments below and I will get back to you extremely fast. Um, if you have any further video requests, if you want to request a video or a specific video, um, please also post a comment or message me. Doesn't matter which, I will get both. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.